Ospreys, welcome to a sunrise edition of Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Deja Borden, here to give you the inside scoop on Inside Swoop. First up in the top news today, the effects of coronavirus and the Omicron variant are being dis still being discovered daily. Long COVID is one of the newest discoveries. Some people infected with the virus realize they have long-term symptoms such as brain fog, pain, and tiredness that affects their ability to work or do normal daily tasks. Next, in the top news, Travis Ganong, who is a part of the U.S. ski team, says that climate change is here, and because of this, he believes the end of winter sports in the Olympics is near. Beginning in December, officials had to rely on a mix of melted ice and manufactured snow for skiing. Hopefully, Olympic Olympic leaders can come up with an alternative for our participants in the future who rely on snow in the games. Finally, some U.S. schools are facing more danger through virtual learning than in person. Schools, school districts in Albuquerque, New Mexico had to cancel two days of classes today because they were blocked from taking attendance and accessing student emergency contacts. Albu Albuquerque administrators say they were victims of a ransomware attack. Since the pandemic, more of these attacks are occurring and more money is being demanded. Thanks for your time, Ospreys. That's it for this Sunrise edition of Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Deja Borden. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.